Hi, good morning, guys. Good morning. Hello, Hi. Carlita. Good morning. Hello. How are you? I'm very fine. Hey, Hello. you. How are you? I'm very happy to see you again. That's good. Uh, hey, Claudita. Uh, Hello. Hi, teacher. Hi, Claudita. Long time no see you. Yes, a long time. 2018. <laughs> we take a long vacation. Yeah, uh, for about uh, what? One month? Two months? No, one month and some days. One month. Uh -huh. Yeah, yes. one month and some days. One month and some right? days. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. And 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 are you still home? Working from home? Yes. Oh. All, all staying home. Ah, okay. Well, that's good news, huh? I think it's better. It's better yeah, to it be better. at home because of the, you know, everything is open now and everybody is like going and coming forward, going backwards everywhere. But I think we have to take care of ourselves, right? Yes, and out all the people is they act with uh, what it all it is normal, but it no, it's but not. it's not normal. <laughs> there is a virus around, I know. Okay, so that's that's why that's why difficult because even though we are almost in vacations, you know. Christmas, I go. I went to uh, Bidri. Bidri is, you know, f or mm -hmm. what is the other uh, friend? When I entered, it was full of Christmas. <laughs> yeah. So when you see that, you feel like feelings, you know, uh, like yeah, happy. But I was talking to a, a woman there in the store that even though they are bombarding us with the uh, Christmas feelings and everything, the virus is present. Yeah. So we cannot forget the virus is present. Okay. But I'm so happy to see you here safe and sound. Okay. Exa is here too. Franklin. Okay. Carlita Beatriz. Good morning. How are you guys? Good morning. Teacher. Morning, morning. And I have a new person here. Herbert. Is Herbert part of the class? No? Good morning. Hello. Good morning, Frank. How are you? Yes, it's a new student. I'm fine. Oh, oh, very <laughs> nice, Franklin. Very nice to, to, to listen to you. Okay, that's it. So, Exa, is uh, Herbert a new student? Yes. Oh, okay, very good. Hey, we're going to have some, some new guys, right? Uh, yes, two How more. How many? Two more? Two more? No, three, three, more? three more with Herbert. Ah, okay. So we are waiting for two more. Okay, great. Yes. That's nice. Very good. Okay. And what about your, your university studies? You continue with them? With all the subjects? Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Just one signature, one subject. subject. <laughs> subject. Uh, left and and you're done wow that's congratulations that's good okay very 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 nice okay well guys as you know you know this class is uh, a little bit shorter than the other one okay since it is one hour uh, we are going to be you know like covering the topics from the platform okay the platform that you already have you already know the like a uh, how to use the platform and everything Something included in this platform is um, that you have readings and you have pronunciation and you have listenings, okay, in the platform. You already have the, the exercises there, so I think it's gonna take you a little bit more time, okay, a little bit more time, okay, than the previous platform that you already did. And um, the topics are, okay, the it's like the follow-up course from the one that we had before, okay? So uh, we have to continue practicing. And well, in this hour that we're gonna be here, we are going to be talking about, okay, the, the, the core. You know, the core is that the main uh, topics, the principal topics from the platform, okay? And also we're gonna do the speaking part, okay? That's the most important for me, 
Okay, as a teacher to help you with your speaking, okay, because that's the most difficult part. Some people do the very easy, right, the platform exercises, but you have to know that speaking is one of the most important skills. So when a person asks you, hey, can you speak English? <laughs> lo entiendo, pero no, no lo hablo. Ah, no, so <laughs> it's not. <laughs> okay, so you, what you have to do is like to develop the speaking, okay? This is the most, the most important thing you have to know, okay? So uh, something that you have to know about this is that in now in this uh, platform, we have five sections, okay? And we have four weeks, okay? So it's not one section per week, no. I have like put together, you know, two sections. So we are going to study two sections in one week, okay? As I said before, I have already taken the topics. So I'm going to explain the topics and practice orally, okay, some topics. You're gonna do some exercises as well, but not too much, okay? I have focused the class in speaking, so I can listen to you, I, you can practice this, okay? So it's important to, to continue, okay, um, with the class platform, platform class, class platform. It's not like, ah, la plataforma la voy a hacer el domingo. No, okay, you have to, Finish, okay, because then uh, you're gonna be a little bit behind, okay? Remember, this class is only one, one, one hour, so we have to take advantage of it, okay? Well, welcome for the rest of the guys that have already joined my class, okay? Gabriela is here, Gavita, hello, Itzel, okay? Brenda, Sophie, Elena, welcome, okay? And Giovanni is here too, okay? Welcome to the class, it's a... A pleasure to see you once again, okay? I'm so happy to have you here, okay? With this, uh, with this new, okay, new, new course that we have intermediate too, okay? So for my friend there, uh, Herbert Martinez, I think the, the only guy, okay, who is uh, brand new, okay? My name is Iris Garcia. I'm gonna be your facilitator for this class, okay? Um, remember guys, if you have questions, ask questions. If you have comments, comment, okay? The idea is to take advantage of this time, okay, with me, so you can practice, okay, and we can interact, okay, which is the one of the most important things here, okay? Well, my friends, we are going to start, okay, with this part, okay, and this is the section number one for in, uh, the intermediate two, you know, when you speak English, sometimes it's difficult to understand uh, movies, it's difficult to understand uh, lyrics of songs or even books when you read books because, okay, we see some words which are like familiar to us, but at the moment you want to put everything together to understand, it sounds a little bit like different from what you know, okay? This is what we call for today's class, guys, okay, is about phrasal verbs, okay? We are going to talk about this topic, okay? How to use phrasal verbs, when to use them, and how to make phrasal verbs, okay? Um, I'm going to be showing you certain information, okay, about that, okay? So, uh, we can have this kind of okay topic developed maybe right now it's like uh, what is a phrasal verb okay expressions like for example come along si han oído algunos verbos right like come along put off okay go on hay un almacén aquí que se llama carry on no sé si existe todavía right? carry on okay carry on keep on okay look after take after Okay, Do you, you know that, like, okay, teacher, yo entiendo que me dice take and after, but I don't comprehend, okay, the meaning. So this is what we're going to study today, guys, okay? Phrasal verbs, okay? And I'm going to be, okay, presenting, okay, what phrasal verbs are, okay? Because then 
we are going to practice some, some stuff like this, okay? What is a phrasal verb? Okay, it's very easy, guys. This is not a difficult topic, okay? A phrasal verb is, uno le llaman verbo frasales, okay? Phrasal, because it's compound by two, uh, two words, okay? The, the number one is the verb, okay? It's el verbo normal, right? Take, do, give, okay, come. Uh, another one, uh, for example, you can say uh, get, okay, eat, uh, well, make, okay, the, the normal verb that you know. But this verb is together with one preposition. So, ese verbo me la tiene que agregar una preposición, right? This verb, you have to add a preposition, okay? Y, and that preposition in English is called a particle, okay? So, you need a verb and a particle. What is a particle, teacher? A particle is a preposition, okay? Of, in, on, okay, out, okay, prepositions, okay? Don't up, down, okay, etc. So, then these are, guys, the, the components of phrasal verbs, okay? So, we start, okay, with this one. <clears throat> okay, with a, the, the first verb, for example, here, I have put, this is the normal verb, plus the particle, which is in the, the, the preposition, of. So now I have together this new phrasal verb. Cuando ya se juntan, se le llama phrasal verb. Y ya tengo el verbo put off, put off. Only put is poner, only off is uh, apagar, right, apagado, right, something off. But if you put it together, guys, you say put off, and the meaning is different. Si lo leen así va a decir poner apagado mi viaje, ah, huh? <laughs> I put off my trip, I don't understand, teacher, no, there, guys, the meaning for put off here completely is postponed. Postponed, so posponer, okay? Ah, so why teacher? Well, this is like, you know, the person who invented this language, okay? They decided to do this, okay? So this is a, a topic, guys, that is not so, it's not so easy, okay? It's easy to understand, but it's not so easy to use because you need to memorize the meaning. There is no way, there is no way to, to know them like, oh, okay, oh, I know how to make the, and the meaning is this, no, we just, you have to just to memorize, okay? The meaning, so put off, Postpone, okay? So if you want to say in English, ay, teacher, yo tuve que posponer mi viaje, fíjese, okay? In English, I had to postpone my trip. But if you don't want to say postpone because people in the United States don't say that, you have to say, ah, oh, you know, teacher, I had to put off my trip. I don't want to study English now, so I have to put off my course for later on, maybe for next year. So the person that knows this understands and they will understand that you are saying that you don't wanna continue. So you have to stop there and go on, okay? Next month or, or, or next year, etc. okay? So this is the topic that we are going to study today, okay? So this is what we call Phrasal verbs in English, okay? Phrasal verbs. What is a phrasal verb, as I said before? Well, it's the combination or it's, you know, the, 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 the link of one verb and one particle. One verb and one particle, okay? For example, I, as I said, put 
of, okay? You put the verb and the particle together, and when you have it together, then you have to use here and you have to know the meaning, okay? I have a, um, it says here, look, look at this, the particle looks like a preposition. It looks a like, and it is a preposition, but it doesn't function like a preposition, okay? So please, for the phrasal verbs, don't use, uh, don't say, ah, up, arriba, okay? No, remember, this is only like, part of the phrasal verb but don't don't you don't have to mention specifically like the meaning of the the, the preposition okay and uh, particles are part of the verb phrase and they often change the meaning of the verb they change the meaning so look mirar okay and algunas le puede atinar right okay looked up but look he looked up at the skycraper. Skycraper guys are the tall buildings that you have there in, in New York, in the United States, okay? In El Salvador, we don't have skycrapers. <laughs> Torre de Mocasa, creo que es lo único malo. <laughs> o Torre, what is it? La que le llaman Movistar, right? Okay, so, but this not that skycraper. Skycrapers are like huge, okay? Huge buildings, okay, in other countries. So, Literally, you say, he looked up, okay? Pero miren qué raro ahora cuando le digo, hey, eh, you know, miren la Carlita looked up a word in her dictionary. Ah, looked up. Carlita vio para arriba la palabra. <laughs> There is no meaning, okay? It's like, it sounds not appropriate here. It's because looked up, guys, look up means buscar okay so it's but in the first one okay no significa buscar in the first one is mirar hacia arriba right so what i'm trying to say is that sometimes okay it is a preposition it works like a preposition but sometimes it's only a particle And this particle, well, is an adornment, okay, that you have for the verb, okay? So, in the context, you have to know this. Carla looked up a word in her dictionary, okay? Por ejemplo, yo le puedo decir, hey, eh, busca, la, busca la tarea, okay, en tu cuaderno, in English. Hey, Exa, looked up the homework in your dictionary. So, what you have to do... To, Okay, that's it. This look up, guys, is not for internet. Este no es para internet. De buscar en Google, no. This is only for books, dictionaries, okay, magazines, etc. But no for, eh, no for, um, for, for, for investigations or research, okay? Then you use other words, okay? So, I am going to present some, okay, and we're going to check the pronunciation, okay, because it is important, okay, to know the meanings. Maybe today, guys, con que se aprendan uno sus más de cinco, unos diez, more or less, like ten, ten verbs, it's going to be good for me, okay? There are phrasal verbs which are uh, very informal, and there are phrasal verbs which are formal, okay, for work. So when you are in your work, you can use them, okay? Okay, and sound a little bit, you know, like more American, okay? The first one, okay, it says put off, okay? This is the first one, okay? As I said before, put off, this is postpone, postpone, okay? Aquí quiero que lo haga el unido. No me voy a decir put on, okay? <laughs> It sounds like a little weird, okay? So it says de un solo, put on, put on, okay? Put on, como aquello puro grande, right? Put on, put on, that's it. This is cover your body with clothes, okay? This is the definition, but then in a Salvadorian way, ponerse la ropa, right? Okay? And then le dice, ponete algo, le dice la mamá, put on, okay? For example, if I want to say, Franklin, póngase la camisa, hijo. Franklin, put on, <laughs> Franklin, put on your shirt, okay? 
How would you say then, eh, let me see, Gaby, how would you say there, este, ponete, ponete el vestido? Put on the dress. Put on the so dress. Good. Very good. Uh -huh. You see? Para que no le diga, este, eh, get dressed, le dice, <laughs> no, get dressed es vestirse, right? But this is like, Ponete algo, for example, when you visit uh, someone and you say, hombre, ponete corbata, uh -huh. en iglesia, I don't know, put on, put on. Look, es el mismo put, but different particle. So the meaning is different for everyone. So that's what I said that it's a little hard, this topic is because you need to have a very good memory, okay? With off is postponed. With on is to cover your body with clothes, okay? It could be a hat, it could be shoes, a, I don't know, a, a jacket, a shirt, okay, etc. Put away, <laughs> put away, put away. <laughs> Remember the animal. Uh -huh. Put away. What is put away? Put something in its original place. This is like... Poner algo donde tiene, tenía que estar. For example, if I ask you, okay, uh, what is the original place? What is the original place? Uh, let's see, Elena. Okay, Elena, good morning. Elena, what is the original place for the, for example, the sandals? It's common to have the sandals all over the house. So, what is the original place for the sandals? ¿Dónde irían las sandalias? Where, where, where are the sandals originally? Mm -hmm. What is the, the original place for the sandals to be in the house? In the patio? In the garage? I don't know. Uh -huh. Where do you have sandals in your house? Where do you have sandals in your house? What is the correct place? Itzel, let's see the sandals, for example. En la zapatera. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Okay, but, but, but in what place? In this, in the sh okay, we're in the shoes. You can say shoe stand. The mm -hmm. shoe stand, ahí donde se ponen los zapatitos, right? Okay? okay? So, when you want to say Itzel, you have a, 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 a daughter, right? Daughter or son? Daughter. A daughter. A daughter. So, you say, what's her name? Daniela. Ah, Daniela. So, you say, Daniela. Daniela. Put away your sandals, please. Come on. They are not here in the living room. Put away the sandals. And put away the, 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 your, your toys. Okay, you see? With that phrase, with that phrase, Albert, you're saying, llévatelos a donde tienen que estar. <laughs> okay, <laughs> this is like, llévatelos a la zapatera y los zapatos, los juguetes, obviamente, a su caja o a su cuarto de juego, right? Put away. Put something in its original place. Okay. That's it. Then I have another one. Put back. Look. Put back. Poner back. Atrás. Espalda. Okay. Ah. But this is return something in its original place. Okay. For example, put back. Okay. In your office. Okay. ¿Qué se pueden llevar en la oficina a los escritorios? Y después le dice, anda, regresa, lo pórate. Uh -huh. So what is common that people take from the offices and you take it to your desk? Could be, um, in this case, could be, for example, it comes to my mind, okay? It could be the, the masking tape, for example, okay? La, 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 el, el tirro, okay? How would you say there, exa, regresa el tirro? Regresa el tirro. How would you say that? In English, masking tape is tirro, right? Masking tape. So how would you say that? Uh, except back the masking tape 
Uh -huh, okay, very good. Put back the masking tape. Okay, put back the masking tape. Put back the 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 the, the for example, a bit paper. Okay, and regresa el, el, el papel. Not to the original place, but at least with the last place where you have it. Okay, that's it. So this is what we are calling. Okay, you know, phrasal verse. This is only an example, guys. There are a lot, and I will send you a list. Okay, of the most common phrasal verbs that we use in English. Okay, now we have studied this put off, put on, put away, and put back. You know, all of them are with put, but the particle is different. Okay, and the meaning obviously is different. Okay, now I have some others for you. Okay, for example, keep on. Okay. Keep on, keep on. This is like, keep on, keep on, okay? This is continue. For example, if I say, okay, this is a, an example and let's say, a, 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 I can say to you guys, for example, a, Carlita Joana, keep on reading. Keep on reading. So, what do you have to do, Carlita? If I say, keep on reading. Continue reading, okay? Keep on is continue, okay? So if a person tells you, okay, keep on reading. Hey, seguí haciendo ejercicio, te ves bien, ve. Keep on doing exercise. Ah, okay, thank you. Keep on working very hard. Keep on studying, guys. Keep on studying English. That means continue, okay? That's it. Also, something difficult about this is that phrasal verbs have more than one meaning sometimes. Keep on means also not to remove something. It says no quitar algo, okay? That's it. For example, you say that, no, no quites ese, ese sticker del carro. Don't keep on the sticker. But in this case, guys, in the context, you understand the meaning, okay? So this is important. In the context that you understand what it means. Take off, remove. Take off is como quitarse algo, right? For example, uh -huh, eh, take off the shoes, perfect. Uh -huh. Take off, oh, don't take off the shoes. No, 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 please. <laughs> no in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, or uh, for example, your uh, your makeup for the girls, right? That we wear makeup, okay? At night, we take off the makeup, right? That is remove, okay? That's it. And then, pero también, miren, take off en los aviones significa irse, despegar, leave, take off. The airplane... Eh, en pasado, eh, took off, okay, at 8 o'clock, for example. Something important that I can say too, guys, is that for this, okay, topic, you have to use the phrasal verbs in present, in past, or in future. ¿Ve? Voy a seguir con mis clases de inglés. Futuro. I will... Keep on studying English. Yo seguí mis clases, o continué mis clases de inglés. I kept on studying English in past. Okay, so the phrasal verbs can be in present, in past, or future. Okay, that's it. So you see, I have some for you because then it's time for you to practice. Hoy vamos a aprendernos unos de estos, right? That's it. I have the number one. So can you please activate your microphone? We're going to practice the pronunciation, okay? <clears throat> activate your microphone and we are going to practice the pronunciation, right? Number one, everybody, give up. Give up. Give up. Give up. Exactly. Give up. This is up. darse por vencido. Abandonar algo. Okay. Oh, no, no te vayas de la clase. Don't give up your classes. Right? Don't give up. 
Okay, no, give mira, up. me voy a divorciar, voy a no aguanto. Hey, Carlita, <laughs> don't give up. <laughs> okay. Don't give up, okay? Your relationship, right? Give up. Turn out. Repeat. Turn, turn out. out. Turn, turn out. out. Turn, turn out. out is oh. produce. Producir algo. Okay? Carry on. Continue. Carry on. Carry on. Carry on. Put off. Carry on. Put off, off. Uh -huh. very good. Take after. Take after. Look after. Look after. They are similar, huh? They are similar, but the, the verb is different. Take after and look after. Run into. Run into. Do over. Do over. Do over. Come across. Come across. Keep on. Keep on. Keep on. And put on. Put on. Put on. Okay, put on, keep on, put on. give up. Okay, yeah. let's see the meanings here. Give up, abandon. Carry yeah. on, continue. Okay, si usted me puede, usted me dice, oh, teacher, excuse me, I have a question. Aha, uh -huh, Claudita, how do you pronounce this and this? Ah, okay. Ah, oh, thank you, teacher. Carry on. Quiere decir que me está dando la palabra para que continue con la, que continue con la clase, right? Carry on, teacher. Ah, okay, thank you. So, indeed, da, 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 da. ¿Ok? Put off, uh -huh. postpone. Vamos con este. Take after. Take, Take after. after. Take este after. es, miren, miren, parecerse a alguien. Sí, miren, ya lo vieron. Oh, my God. Like oh, my God. <risa> Herbert Martínez, que no ha hablado, ¿se parece a quién? Uh, let me a, Franklin. a Franklin. A <risa> Franklin. <risa> so, ¿cómo diríamos Herbert se parece a Franklin? <risa> Herbert, Herbert like, takes uh, after Franklin. Like that. Mm -hmm. Takes after Franklin. Exactly. Okay. So you see, for example, here I have, well, this is a where I don't know your father or your mother. Okay. But in this case, I can ask you, Carlita Beatriz, who do you take after in your house? Who do you take after? Your mama or your papa? Uh, my mama. So you say, yo me parejo a mi mamá in English. Tell yes, me. Uh, I take after my mama. Ah, okay, very good. Well, I take after my mom. Okay, very good. What about in your case, Blanquita? Who do you take after? Your father or your mother? Or your grandma? Sometimes <laughs> we take after yes. other relatives. Mm -hmm. I look I take after uh, grandmama. Ah, your grandmama, okay, good, very good, nice, okay. Or when you want to say, teacher, ve que mi hijo se parece a mí, a mí que, eh, a mí, va, okay. So, how will you say that, Araceli? Mi hijo se parece a mí. Um, my, my son, uh -huh. look, uh, take after. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Me. To, to me. To me. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. You see? Aquí cuando hablan de tercera persona, remember the third person takes after. Okay? My son takes after. Okay? Me. That's it. This is the meaning for this. No se me confunda con look after. Look after means take care. Take care of. Cuidar. Ay, teacher, I don't have time for my classes because I have to look after my baby. Okay, look. I have to look after my baby. Okay, that's it. Hey, teacher, you know, I can't, uh, um, for example, uh, I can't go out, okay, with the class next weekend. Tengo que cuidar a mis perros. How do you say that, Exa? Ha, tengo que cuidar a mis perros el próximo fin de semana. Update after my dog the next weekend. Can you repeat, please? I have look after uh -huh. my, my dog uh, the next weekend. Ah, okay, very good. Si se take after, va a sonar, me tengo que parecer a mi perro el próximo. Yes. <laughs> no, no, no. Look after, okay? That's look after. Remember, look after. After, this is take care of. Puede ser, cuídame la casa. 
Ok, voy a ir al puerto. Ok, look after my house, please. Ok, look after. Look after my dogs, my babies, or something. Hey, cuidame el celular, please. Es nuevo. So, look after my cell phone because it's brand new. Ok, oh, don't worry. Ok, put it there. Ok, look after. Run into, run into. Si lo leen así, dice correr para adentro. Ok, but no, 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 no. The meaning is very different. Run into means encontrarse a alguien por accidente. Ok. My Lord. Allá andaba yo. ¿eh? Allá andaba en el super selecto. Y de repente me encontré a Verónica. Ja, en el área de los chorizos. Ajá, en las carnes. Right, pero In English. Hey, you know, guys. Last week I ran into Verónica at super selectos. You see? ¿Eh? Para que no diga, ay, porque usted me puede decir, ay, so Verónica, ok, ay, so, yo la vi, pero me hice la loca. <laughs> ok, it's different. Aquí es running to, it's like, hey, pero, teacher, hello, what are you doing here? Oh, bye, and you, me too, ok, see you, bye, 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 teacher. This is. Okay, this meaning occasionally, right? This is not like, pero va a ir al super. Yo también, vamos. <laughs> no, no, this is by accident, okay? So this is run into, okay? That's it. For example, for example, eh, let me ask eh, some of you here. Sophie, hello, Sophie. Hi. Hello, hello, Sophie. Tell me, Sophie, uh, who do you usually run into on the street? Maybe some friend. Ah, uh -huh, some friends, uh -huh, from the school. Yes. Ah, okay, very good, okay. So you see, okay? run into. Who was the last person you ran into yesterday? Other question I can ask. Who was the last person you ran into yesterday? ¿Ve? ¿A quién te encontraste por accidente ayer? Run into, okay? Keep that in mind. Do over, do over. This is repeat, okay? Repeat. Pero no en el caso hablado. Por ejemplo, Franklin, repeat the question, please. No, este es como cuando usted hace algo, okay? For example, um, Hace la planilla y le sale mala. <laughs> y le dice el jefe, ay, no, 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 no. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Juan Carlos. You have to do over the payroll. ¿Ve? Do over. O sea, repetirla. Do it again. Ok, repeat. Come across. Find something by accident. Aquí el run into es alguien, somebody. Come across, guys, is something, is algo. Ay, esas cartas de noveno grado, right? Cuando va a abrir cajas. Chik, chik, chik. Oh, oh. <laughs> and you are like so in love. Oh my God. Cuando le escribieron, te quiero. <laughs> ok, nos vemos en el chalet. Ese papelito, you say, ay no, teacher, look. I came across this paper from uh, Carlos Mendes. <laughs> okay, so this is come across, okay? O perdió algo, for example. Okay, perdió que su cédula, <laughs> para los que tuvieran cédula, right? Okay, you lost something and you, oh, <laughs> Claudita, no, you know, I am young. Well, Giovanni, creo, sí, va, Giovanni. <laughs> Blanquita. Oh. Cédula, yes, do you remember? <laughs> okay, andamos por las mismas, right? So you say here, oh my God, pasado, miren. I came across, oh wow, my first ID, wow, okay, ve. I came across, okay. Keep on, continue, y ya dije otra vez, put on, ponerse, right, vestir. Ponerse ropa, ok. So, if you see, guys, give up, turn out, ok. 
carry on, put off, take after, look after, run into, do over, come across, keep on, and put on. Those are, I can mention, a easy ones, okay? Easy phrasal verbs that you can use, okay? I understand and I know that it's difficult, okay, to, to memorize all of them, okay? But right now, what we're gonna do, okay, we're gonna start working right now. And uh, I want you to check the list, please. Aquí tengo esta listita. Vamos a jugar con estas, right? Okay, with this list, okay? Maybe you can take a picture right now from this, okay, from this list, okay? because we are going to have start doing the exercises. What I want you to do is right now with your partner, I want you to create, I want you to create, okay, one sentence, okay, related to this, using phrasal verbs. For example, hagamos una con take after, ah, okay. Uh, ah, eh, mi, 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 mi esposo se parece a Vin Diesel. <laughs> okay, my husband. Y ahí va, ¿cuál va a usar? Put off? No, right? Give up? No. Look after? No, because this is take, ah, look like. Okay, so take after. So this is what you have to do. You can do it in present, in past, or in future. Remember, okay, there we go. We are going to start, okay, we are going to start, okay, practicing. You are going to work right now in, in groups, okay, let me check. We're going to do it in trios, okay, we're going to do it in trios. Let's start working right now with these phrasal verbs. Remember, the meaning has to be memorized. Okay, accept the invitation. Yo soy desde el teléfono porque ya casi salgo para la oficina. Ah, pues te veo allá, Brendy. Ok. Teacher. Hello, Jova. Good morning. Good morning, teacher. Morning, morning, guys. Ok. Eh. Eh, no sé qué quiere iniciar. Let's start with give up. Okay. Make a sentence with give up. Give up. Abandon. Mm -hmm. Okay. Usualmente se dice como, hey, no abandones la, o no, no te salgas, no dejes. Okay. No te vayas. No te vayas. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y la frase, never give up. Nunca te des por vencido. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. O, oh, por ejemplo, le dice, mira, este Giovanni, deja el cigarro, hombre, ve, give up the, the cigarettes. <laughs> uh -huh. O sea, abandonarlos, dejarlos, right? Uh -huh. That's yes. it. Well, you can make a sentence, okay? In, uh -huh. Use your imagination. Okay. Okay, thank you. ¿Cuál ponemos? Um, the fears. ¿Cómo se escribe el pasado de Kip? Gabe. Okay. Gabe. I gave up my Gabe. old car. Maybe. car. Tour of... And teacher, teacher, in this phrase over, 
uh, take out is not a phrasal verb. Which one? Take out. Take out, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, take out. Oof, there are, uh, Ili, there are hundreds, hundreds and hundreds of phrasal verbs. Siempre que mire uno así un verbo y una que parece preposición, it's a phrasal verb. Take out, take up, eh, look into, Oof, a lot, a lot. I'm giving you just the basic ones, okay? Ahí les va a caer una, una lista por ahí, ¿ok? So you can okay. practice more. Ok. Ok. Turn up. Maybe. Turn, turn out. Turn, turn, turn out. The look after Veronica, uh, can you look after my pets when I was in vacation? Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. Sí, Verna. Hi, teacher. Hello, hello, Gavita. Hello, hello. Teacher, mm -hmm. tell me. I have a question. Uh -huh. I don't remember how to use turn on, tour, tour out. Turn out, okay. Turn out. Uh -huh. uh, produce. For example, when uh -huh. you have to say, um, what produce? De producir o algo que salió muy bien, algo que salió mal. Por ejemplo, ay, teacher, my last vacation turned out as a mess. ¿Ve? Se, se, o sea que salieron mal, salieron un, totalmente un fracaso total, right? So you say turn out, ¿ok? In this case, aquí le podemos poner, aquí yo le puse produce, but also you can you can use the 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 the, the other meaning. Puede ser como algo que salió mal, algo que salió bien, okay? Turn out. Uh -huh. For example, you can write there number two. My English class turn out uh, a success. My English course, mi clase de inglés, mi curso de inglés. Salió todo un éxito, eh? Turn out a success. You can, you can use that. Mm -hmm. Ok. También de producir, por ejemplo, si quieren usar produce, pueden decir um, Diana, Diana todo mundo. <ríe> Diana produce este que, este. Turn out. Turn out. Churritos. Ah, churritos. Ajá. Very good. <ríe> Exactly. Ahí no, le ponen turn turns, no. turns. 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 Because it's Diana is one factory. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo, teacher? Turns. turns. The ah. third person. Uh -huh. Because it's one teacher, factory. Teacher, in this case, in the, in the carry-on, is carries. Carries. Excellent. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. Y the same is... My sister puts. Put. Uh -huh. ah, okay. Aunque aquí eh, depende, si usted quiere decir las pospuso, in uh -huh. past, put is put, because uh -huh. it's past tense. Uh -huh. ah, ok. Porque el pasado de put is put. Uh -huh. Ah, ok, uh -huh. sí, sí. Ok. Quiera snacks. Ok. Thank you, teacher. Ok, you're welcome. Very good. Continue, please. Good off. Oy. Carry on, please. <laughs> Carry um, on. Uh -huh. Very good. I'm saying the, the phrase because I don't give up the cat. Yes. Abandones el gato. Ah, no. En ese caso yeah. no es abandonar el animal en la calle. Yeah. No, no, no. Es un dejar algo. Por ejemplo, un curso, una relación. Ah, ah yes. Yes, uh, I put the ah, example. I, I never I give up. up. Por ejemplo, I get up my, my, my boyfriend. Ajá, yes. Ajá, uh -huh. I give up my boyfriend because he was so jealous. Ajá, uh -huh, yes. yes. 
or exa, I never give up. Yo nunca me doy por vencido, right? This is darse por vencido too. Ah, uh -huh. oh, okay. Uh -huh. Never give up, okay? Or even you can use for, for example, for eh, bad habits, for example. Hey, Brendita, mm -hmm. ya deje, ya deje de fumar, hombre, deje el cigarro. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> give, give up smoking, okay? Give up, okay? Hey, Carlita, oh, okay. give up the boys. <laughs> ya ven los bichos. Los no, 15 años. Only one. <laughs> Only one. No, Only digo, one for, for, for one week. Oh, one per week. <laughs> okay, so in that case, you can just give up. Okay. Okay, great okay. teacher. Okay, continue. Okay. Okay, it's my turn. Yes. Uh, I keep on with my exercise routine at 5 a.m. every day. Every day, okay, excellent, very good. Your... Ah, pero ahí tendría que ser puts on, ¿verdad? Excellent. En my no va así, ¿verdad? Va la S. Ajá, pero... Ajá. Este, put on the cell phone on the table. Oh, in that case, no, because the put on means wear. Ese, rep, ese significa vestir, wear. Put. Ah. So, ese es ropa, ok? Clothes. Ah, Mi hija se pone su vestido solita, póngale. Ok. Ajá. My daughter puts My on daughter her dress, dress. Her dress. By herself. Uh -huh. By herself. Por ella misma. O sea, sin ayuda, right? Ajá. By herself. Unido, creo. Es yes, it's, it's together. Ajá. By oh, herself. Herself. Ajá. Herself. Herself. Uh -huh. Yes. Exactly. Uh -huh. Okay. Teacher, uh -huh. eh, ¿cuál es la diferencia de keep, keep on o keep, keep on y carry on? Carry on. Uh -huh. There is no difference. The meaning is the same. Uh, okay. Um, another you can have, for example, a running to. Hágame una cosa. Running run to. Mm -hmm. Running to. I run into a ring. Um, among amongst ring, el anillo de, de mi mamá. Ah, but remember, run into is for people. Uh, mm -hmm. And. And come across, across is for objects. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Uh, Almost finishing? No, no, no. No, no, no estoy segura. Can I help I you? Hello, can I help you? Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, um, example, a uh, uh, frazzal uh, put off. Uh -huh. Okay. Put um, off. Sí. Uh, we put off uh, out Salida, teacher. Eh, pues pondremos la salida al cine. Ah, ok. Al cine. Ok. We will put off our... Ah. Ok. Our, nuestra. Ajá. Our date for the cinema. 
day. Our day. Mm -hmm. Date, como cita, right? Uh, okay. uh -huh. eh, sería we will. We will porque es pospondremos, right? O tenemos que, we have to put off our date. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it depends, right? We will put out mm -hmm. our day for the cinema. Exactly, exactly. Very good. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I don't remember. But he's very, very happy. <laughs> Teacher, I... Hello, finished. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I say... Uh, Pero, that uh, a few days ago I look a, a book in my in my bedroom uh -huh. and when I was past the page uh -huh. I came across a uh, thirty one dollars thirty one dollars wow <laughs> hey that's good <laughs> news I feel I feel happy when I when it happened. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember. Put, Why? Huh? Uh -huh, Why did you put it there? Do you remember? No. Maybe it was years ago, huh? Eh, maybe. No, months. Months, months ago. Months maybe. ago. Uh -huh. yeah. I I sometimes, you know, it sometimes happens to me in jeans. Yes. <laughs> yes. I, I, I come across with... Five dollars. Five dollars. One dollar. Oh, well, sometimes, you know, once, uh, it was a long time ago, uh, I was walking on the street from the bus station, from the bus uh, stop to my house. I was in the, in the first or second year at the university. I was walking on the street when suddenly I came across $100. One hundred dollars. One hundred dollars, but in different uh, bills. 20, okay. 10, well, 20 and 10, only those. I took the, the, the little the little roll and kept it. <laughs> <laughs> I to look around and I continue, you know, I kept on, I kept on walking to my house. When I arrived home, my mother, I told my mother, my mother told me, no, Iris, you have to give it back. And I said, come on, mama, but it's on the street. No, but, no, but in the street, you know, near, around, there were some stores. And so my mother told me, I will have it for you. I will keep it. If in a week I can't listen and I don't see anybody like looking for this money, it's going to be yours. Mm -hmm. Oh, gosh. I was crossing fingers. <laughs> my but in the end, nothing happened. My mother asked for some, some people in the street, like, oh, la well, have you lost something no no everything is good or whatever so there were no 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 clues that somebody had lost the money so sometimes it's, it happens so with this phrase over you can use this one right you came across it by accident okay That's very good yes. nice excellent congratulations silly and what do you do with the money uh, i don't know i i <laughs> you spend it. I put I put the the the, the money and the and the same place. <laughs> ah, okay. Ah, that's good. Savings. <laughs> Savings. Savings. Excellent. Okay. You have some sentences? Yes. 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 Okay. Very good. That's it. Well, we're gonna come back. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, guys, now that you are back, okay, now we're going to check the sentences that you have there. Okay, check the sentences, please. You're going to help me, huh? Open your, well, open. <laughs> uh, uh, turn on your microphone, okay? And uh, tell me the sentences, okay? Share, share your answers, okay, with me. If, if you have any problems, let me know and I will help you, okay? So let's start with, a, you can do it randomly. It's not necessary to follow the, the number one, two. No, you can do it, okay, randomly. Okay, go ahead, please. Number, uh, the first, the first sentence. Uh, Ili, give me the first sentence. Exa, tell me the second one, okay. 
Any phrasal verb you want to share, okay? Ili, go okay. ahead. Uh, this morning, I came across uh, $10 in my jeans. Excellent, okay? I came across $10, good, excellent. Or Esa? For the pupusas. I, yes, for the pupusas. <laughs> I threw out a CD with my son. Ah, okay, very good, excellent, okay. Next, uh, Itzel? Wait a minute, please. Wait, wait, wait. A second. <laughs> okay. Gabi, be ready, Gabi. Veronica, be ready, okay? Jova, be okay. ready for your sentences. Uh huh. Yes, it's a. She takes after her father. Okay, very good. Excellent. Gabi? Um, the next week, I look after my nephew. Ah, I will, I will. I will. I will take after my nephew. Okay, look after, sorry. Veronica, excellent. Uh -huh. I take after with my mom. Ah, okay. Quítale el with, please. Quítale el with. I take after my mom. My mom. Uh -huh. Excellent, very good. Okay, uh, Jova? Uh, he keeps on learning English. Oh, very good. He keeps on learning English. Excellent. Carlita Joana and then Carlita eh, Aguilar. I get up my boyfriend because he's boring. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you like very <laughs> funny. <laughs> okay, Carlita. <laughs> uh, I, can... I, I keep on with my English classes. Excellent. I keep on with my English classes. Very good. Franklin, okay. Karen, Brenda, uh -huh. Araceli, tell me your sentences, please. Okay, Frank? We will put off our date at uh, the cinema. Ah, okay. Yeah, I'm sorry then. Okay. Sorry, <laughs> Elena. Ya no va a salir con Frank. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Vamos a posponer, dice. We will put off, right, the date, uh -huh, our date for the cinema. Very good. Uh, Araceli, tell me another sentence, please. Um, I have to put off mm -hmm. my wedding by pandemia. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> excellent, okay, very good. Uh, Sinia, uh -huh. tell me. I carry on. Mm -hmm. My English class. Ah, okay, I carry on with my English classes. Very good. Okay, another one, Elena, Blanquita, Sophie. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, I ran into a friend. Okay, very good. Where? Where did you run? In, your friend? <laughs> In the bakery. Ah, okay, very good, in the bakery, very good. Okay, Araceli, Brendita. Araceli, are you there? Brendita, you can share your sentences too, okay. <clears throat> okay, my, my husband. Mm -hmm. Is like, my husband take care um, Balak is a um, play soccer. Michael Balak. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Ah, take care. And he said, take care. And I said, wow, I'm going to Mr. Balak. <laughs> No. <laughs> Stay after. Mm -hmm. After. Ah, okay. Oh, for real, let us say. <laughs> okay, takes after. Very good. Herbert, give me another one. Okay. Uh, I come across twenty-five dollars in my shirt. Wow, you're so lucky, <laughs> like like Ely. Like lucky, lucky. Yeah, very lucky. Okay, <laughs> very good. Okay, you know. Phrasal verbs, guys. This is how you're going to use phrasal verbs, okay? I'm going to send you, okay, a list of phrasal verbs, okay? So take a look at the list. Try to identify, okay? I cannot push you to memorize 100. Let's say, like Eliana, I hundreds, 
hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of phrasal verbs, okay? But you know some, okay, some of them, at least, okay, for tomorrow, we are going to start a, the class by asking some other phrasal verbs, right? And the idea is to, to, to know how to use them. Mañana vamos a aprender cuando los phrasal verbs se pueden separar y los que no se separan, okay? Pero el significado igual va a ser the same, okay? This is uh, the, 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 the section number one, first topic, okay? Solo recordarles que para la plataforma no hay una, digamos, eh, como antes, clase uno, tarea uno, clase dos, no, usted vea, vea toda la, la sección, los videos, the listening, and do the exercises, okay? Lo que yo hago con ustedes aquí es reforzando la... El, el tema, ok, que aparece ahí en la plataforma, ok. Mañana vamos a ver phrasal verbs eh, que, son, eh, que son como para trabajar, ok, cuando usted lo use en su trabajo, right, cuando Teacher. habla por teléfono, por cuando habla. ¿Ya es Carlita Beatriz? Eh, de hecho, yo tenía esa consulta porque estaba viendo lo del módulo uh -huh. y solo veo que aparecen este, digamos, especifican el objetivo de la lección uh -huh. y un pequeño video de, de, de conversación. O sea, pero no hay ejercicios ni nada de eso. Existen, están, siga, es que están en orden. Esta plataforma en estructura es igual a la otra, pero en contenido varía un poco. Ajá. Uh -huh. Aquí no espere que después de la clase de ahora hayan ejercicios de la clase. No, aquí es... Primero le dan el objetivo, después va la explicación, después hay otro objetivo y después va la próxima eh, que sería, por ejemplo, una conversación donde usan los phrasal verbs. Después de eso le presentan otro objetivo y después... El knowledge de, take. El, el knowledge. El knowledge Ese check. Knowledge ah, check es, okay. son los ejercicios puntuales. Ajá. Ah, okay. Después van readings y por ahí también hay eh, lecturas y... Audio, ¿ok? Es ah, lo, lo, ah, pues sí, ya los encontré, teacher. Gracias. Teacher, teacher, tengo una pregunta. ¿Y no hay libro hoy? No. Ok. No, no, book of for this. Yo le voy a estar mandando este, algunas cosas a, antes de la clase, ¿ok? Cuando okay. digo antes, va a ser, digamos, un... En el chat. Sí. Eh, o si ah. no, vamos a ver con, con Giovanni la forma más factible, ¿verdad? Y les vamos a hacer saber a ustedes, ¿ok? That's it. Ok. So, this is phrasal verb, guys, ¿ok? This is phrasal verbs, ¿ok? La introducción, the introduction, so you can know some. Mañana vemos otros, right, los de trabajo, y también vamos a ver unos que se usan en la vida cotidiana, en daily life, ¿ok? Tengo acá ya para terminar, Verónica Beatriz Celso de Saldán. Ok, eh, ok, very good. Ok, Carla Beatriz Aguilar. Present. Vania Itzel Deras de Cañas. I'm here. Blanca Estela Marroquín Ramírez. Present. Franklin de Jesús Martínez. Present. Giovanni Alberto Orantes Flores. Present. Dalila Estela Silva Morán. Present, teacher. María Araceli González Flores. Present. Cinia Elizabeth Mejía de Sanabria. Present. Sofía Guadalupe Hernández Palacios. Present. Juan Carlos Molina Martínez. Present. Claudia Ileana Cazún de Mengíbar. Present. Brenda Lucía Rosales Guzmán. Present, teacher. Gabriela Beatriz Reyes Ramírez. Gavita. It's not here, no, no, no. Ok. Eh, Gabriela Beatriz Reyes Martínez estaba, pero ahorita ya no. Ok. Carla Joana Martínez de Martínez. Present. Ok. Karen Ría, Reyes. Present. Herbert Martínez. Present, present. En Elena Palacios, right? That's it. Present, teacher. So, ok. Very, very good. Ok. Eh, Dalila, la mencioné, Dalila. No. Dalila no. Estela Silva Morán. Sí, no. teacher. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. Thank Very you. Good. <laughs> okay, double, double, double. Okay, guys. Well, see you tomorrow. Okay, thank you very much my, to join the class, right? Okay, tomorrow at 6.30. One second. Okay. Teacher.
Tell me, Carlita. Gaby tuvo un problema con su computadora, ahorita ah, me okay. está diciendo. No problem, Entonces, pero ella por eso se la... desconectó. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok, pero ya estuvo la, el tiempo de la clase. Ok, perfect. Thank you, guys. Ok, have a beautiful morning, everybody. Enjoy your day. Goodbye. Okay, have a nice day. Bye. 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 So fast. Bye. 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 Bye, teacher.